I am calling forth all my sons around the world to align to who they are and my purpose for this end time. Out of my loins you came, and to my loins are you returning to walk in the way I purposed and according to the word that I declared over you as I sent you forth from me even before the foundations of the world. You are my seed, and you have walked in spirit and in truth, and now you are stepping into your inheritance as a son to rise with power and authority to rule over nations. The enemy corrupted my pure seed when he infused evil knowledge in man at the garden, and flesh became the garment that man wore and the darkness that filled their hearts and minds. This darkness has stifled my light in mankind, and he is blinded to my word, to the redemptive work of the cross, and now the cross is a stumbling block to many. Gross darkness has filled their minds and hearts, and just as darkness sat on the surface of the deep in the waters, so has darkness sat on the hearts and minds of men. In the beginning was the word, I am a word, and not of word you came forth, and so you too are word. My word is light in you, and this is the night that was clothed with flesh, that man has walked with all his life, but the word in them is crying out to me, and this void can only be satisfied by me. The cross is the way to remove this darkness in man, for as you journey the way of the cross, and sustained by the power of the cross, you are able to kill the flesh and nail it on the cross. Many are walking this salvation journey, but have failed to walk in holiness and righteousness, to die to self. And so the veil of flesh weighs heavily on them to walk in my light, for my light in them to shine forth. Many came to salvation, but have left the cross behind them, when the cross is the power unto them that are being saved. The power of the cross is not at work in majority of believers, and this is why they are still struggling with sin. But my sons took a hold of their cross daily and denied themselves, and have followed me wherever I went. They have suffered rejection, persecution, pain, infirmities, poverty, hunger. They are pressed on every side, but they are not crushed. They allowed me to be the potter, to mold them into my image, and now they resemble me in every way. These ones broke through the darkness in them and stripped off the garment of flesh. They have found their way back to the beginning to the word, and be the word that I brought forth from my loins. And so, my sons, as you step forth into this new age of sonship, you step forth as word, glorified in your bodies, free of corruption and mortality, to bring in the great and final harvest of souls, still trapped in darkness and clothed in flesh. You will stand alongside Yeshua, who is the firstborn of all sons. Now you are my first fruit, to go into the harvest fields and gather the rest of the harvest. This position of sonship is not for everyone, but for those that denied themselves and followed me daily carrying their cross. You will live by every word, for this is your pure food as word. I did say that many things will be new to your hearing. But what you will receive as my sons, you will understand, for my seven spirits will be given you. You have travelled and prevailed in all your trials, and now you stand in your rightful positions in Zion, approved by Zion for my final move. Give ear to all I am saying, because man must journey back to Eden, to their beginning. For to know the end is to know the beginning, and you are the ones that will lead the way back to Eden. You must take your rightful positions of dominion over all creation, 
just as I proposed it from the very beginning. Saturn interrupted this plan, but now I am returning to it with those that we made on their knives. You are about to take back your dominion in the realms that he stole from you, and you will kick him out of the heavens together with his angels. They are fallen, and the heavens are no longer their dominion nor habitation. Now your war is with his wicked seed, and you will crush him on his head. As you came forth from my loins, so does he have his wicked seed that came forth from his loins. Esau I hated, but Jacob I loved. Esau's age is come to an end, and Jacob is about to take his rightful position. This final war is with his wicked seed, and they are ready. And I knew yourselves now to me and my word that I am revealing, to usher you into your positions, as this that will go ahead and make the way for the rest. You are the two witnesses I am releasing on the earth, the glory train that will traverse the earth to bring liberty to all creation that has been looking forward to your revealing and release. The kingdoms of this world are now going to be mine as you take back territories to bring them to my night. Arise, my sons, and war, for I have put a new war cry in your mouths.